the story of my blog, presented by Stilla Frog. Okay, okay. How about this? Are you listening? Of course I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay. Captain Gravlox consulted with the leader of the Undershi. They were getting close, really close. But the battle for planet Imel Gagal was only just the beginning. Meanwhile, the fair princess of the Undershi people desperately needed help. The bloodthirsty, large-fanged warlows were going to set upon her at any moment. Gravlox heard her distant cries as though in a dream, or in this case a nightmare. Help me, Captain. I am to be sacrificed when the seventh moon enters Helandazel. Gravlox had a plan, but he wasn't sure um, if it was the... Can I stop you for a moment? Sure, sure. What? What do you think so far? I mean, I know until the whole book is finished, and then probably until book three in the series is finished, you won't really understand how Princess Castellan came to be imprisoned by the warlords. No, no, no. But... <laughs> no, no. <it's> a... <clears throat> okay, it, uh... If I'm being honest, then, Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just my initial reaction, okay? um, This is insane. I'm sorry, what? The the whole thing, the the Waterloos battling for planet Glockenspiel? You mean the Warlows and planet Imelgagal? Oh, my God. Would you listen to yourself? I mean, it's it's fucking bizarre, don't don't you think? It's just a wee bit wacko. Would you call George Lucas wacko? I believe he laughed his wacko ass all the way to the bank to the tune of $65 billion off the Star Wars franchise. I'm not saying there isn't really good sci-fi out there, nor nor that it's not a very lucrative industry. I'm just saying that you doing sci-fi and making up silly name planets just doesn't quite fit. It's... It's not really your thing? Maybe it is my thing, Caleb. Maybe I want to make it my thing. Uh, Do you really, though? Well, it's writing, babe, and it's something unassociated with my work that could, you never know, potentially make me some money and thus allow me to quit my job and actually enjoy writing again. I I get that, yes, but is this what you really want to be writing? I mean, the Unterwegen's last stand on planet Kreplach? Oh, first off, that's not even close, and I'm pretty sure Kreplach is a Jewish dumpling. You know what I mean. I mean, right, we, look, remember in college, rem, remember the essays that you used to write for that paper? What mm-hmm. is it called? The Lamron. The, the, yeah, right, the Lamron. Normal Ron, right. spelled backwards. That's right. And, and you had that weekly column. And you wrote those really powerful pieces about your life, about what was going on on campus, what was happening in the world. The ones about your life, I mean, they, they were really, really compelling. I used to look forward to reading those. They were, I mean, they were just they were honest and insightful. You, you're so good. And, and I'm not saying that just because I'm contractually obligated to, okay? Ha, ha, ha. Flash forward a couple of decades, and I assure you, no one wants to read about my life today. Sure they do. <laughs> yeah, no, they do. As much as anyone wants to read about what's happening when the warlows enter the planet, oogly boogly boogly, and, and they go to battle with the three army. You know, yeah, I, okay, I get it. I get enough with the I'm, I'm, living I'm, already. I'm just saying, don't you owe it to yourself to try and write something that's important to you? Something that's inspired, real, and heartfelt? There are are tons of people who love this sci-fi fantasy stuff, okay? My goal here, like I said, is to write something that actually sells. And then this way, I can make a living as a writer. Well, <laughs> aren't, you, aren't you already kind of a full-time writer? <laughs> I mean, that, that, no, that's your job, right? No, you call that writing? Hon, I am a copy editor and technical writer for the U.S. Postal Service. Mere words cannot even begin to convey the level of mind-numbingness associated with my work. What? Do they make you write things like the art of delivering letters to the wrong person? Mm-hmm. Or how, how, about, um, how about junk mail? Don't blame us. Or, no, no. How about this? Going postal, the inside story. Oh, you're hysterical. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Look, I, I get that your job isn't what you want to be doing, but I mean, whose is? You honestly think I want to be an accountant with Smith, Forrester, and Ferlinghetti? You love your job. Sometimes, yeah. But a lot of times, it's all I can do to keep from losing my freaking mind. Numbers. All day. Nothing but numbers. Endless ledgers and the annoying AF clients with a constant stream of inane questions. Look, point is, what we do to pay the bills. This is what we do to pay the bills, okay? 
This is America, baby. Land of opportunity. As long as you have a steady paycheck accompanied by an ever-present vocational chip on your shoulder. And then, if we can somehow find the time, we do what we love. In the hopes that one day, what we love might become what we do. If that makes any sense, right? But that time is precious. That's my point. So I'm saying... Is the fight for planet hoop to do or whatever it is what you truly love? No one wants to read personal stupid essays about my humdrum stupid life. How do you know? Because I know. No, Caleb. I mean, that's, seriously, how do you know? Have you ever tried to publish them? I mean, have you ever even let anyone other than me read them? Well, no, not not yet. No, but, but nothing, right? That essay you wrote about the final weekend you spent with your dad before he passed away was wonderful. It was poignant. It was deeply moving. And I don't know how you did it, but it was even funny in some places, (laughs) right? I absolutely loved it. People would totally read that. People would connect with that. No. No, they would not. Yes, they would. They would. Stop it. What would I even do? Like, how would I even begin to write personal essays and stories about my life? Keep it simple. Start a blog. A blog? Everyone has a blog nowadays. Mom blogs, dad blogs, relationship blogs, dieting blogs, fitness. (laughs) There's even entire blogs about what to do with the empty toilet paper roll. You all you just, you just come up with something pithy, some some clever name, and just you just start writing about what? About whatever you want. You get real. You get irreverent. You have some fun with it. You know, I mean, some blog writers have gone on to have books published based upon their blogs. A blog, eh? Yes, hmm. it's the perfect vehicle for you for the kind of writing that you're best at. You never know what can happen. And what would I call it? A Battle for planet Imulgagal? I don't know. (laughs) Well, maybe. I'll think about it. Good. You think about it. So how does it end? The book, the the Imulgalgalans, are they like, uh, take me to your leader? Oh, yeah, funny guy. I'm trying. Mm. And so that's how my blog was born. It was the first step on my way to viral gold. And if you're like most women in the English-speaking world, you've likely read it at some point, and it's now being turned into a book. And just an FYI, Caleb came up with the title. And in case you're wondering, that's not his real name. (laughs) ¶¶